Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Jade and welcome to my channel. I've just started it and I am very thrilled to be able to share with you what I received today as guidance for you. So what I received today is that this week is going to be a lot about self-care and self-awareness. People talk about dark night of the soul. It is something that every one of us go through and we go through it several times in our lives. Uh, I don't know that children go through it. I haven't really experienced that with children, but as adults and we're going along, we do have those moments in our life when we feel we're utterly alone. And for whatever reason, when we reach out to other people, they don't seem to be responding to us, which creates a little bit more loneliness within ourselves. However, that's not true of what's going on. We are meant to be alone to, so that we will turn within and take stock of what's going on in ourselves because we are changing. The dark night of the soul is when we're facing our shadows, our shadow selves of um, people that have come into our life and they're they're no longer to conducive or to the patterns that we are projecting out into the world. And so we're breaking beliefs and we're going even deeper and deeper and deeper. So if you're feeling like you don't want to be around people, there's actually a higher purpose and reason for that. It's not because you want to ignore people and you're sick of people so much. It's because something inside of you that your higher self is wanting to connect more into your spirit self and become one. If you listen to um, those that are healers and that, they'll tell you they always have this section of their life where they really look within. And even didn't our Lord G uh, Jesus do this and didn't all of our goddesses that those that are in India through Hindu, um, Lord Buddha, all these different um, enlightened beings. They went through this when they were in their incarnations as well. So you were going to do that too because that is part of the path of becoming um, a more higher in light beingness with ourselves. So I'm going to repeat that again. It's not, oh my gosh, I'm going to get this flash of enlightenment and then I'm going to fly off of the earth and we're going to have so much fun and that's going to be the end of it. No more stuff for me anymore. No, it's getting in light and meant with our being. So in alignment with our being. It's a little switch on words, but it's, it is what it is, right? So we switch the light on, we get more. Yes, it's a metaphor. Yes, you've heard that one. Maybe not the other though. So dark night of the soul. I've had it a few times. What have I done? I literally have had to just be quiet. And as you can tell, I'm a bit chatty. That's good. And also it's like mm, quietness. You know, there are people that go to ashrams and that they take on a vow of silence. You hear others that are on YouTube channels that say they go away for a month to where they're completely quiet. So that those thoughts and processes of their dark night of the soul, whatever was going on, they can let go of those things so they can come to that higher place inside of themselves. At the end of the day, it's always about us, isn't it? It's always about us, what we're doing, and even if you, we stand in that and we get stronger into that, then we are able to bring more to others because we have more to share without it being draining on us. My thought was about babies when they come. When they come, they're in light. They're in pure light. They come from light. They come in, we wrap them very quietly. We wrap them, we swaddle them, we feed them, we clothe them, we let them sleep. They're completely in light. They're not doing anything. They're just being 100% within. 
Oh, they cry. We know that we have these little people that do this, but when they're first here, for the most part, they sleep. And then they start waking up a little by little. This is how we're meant to be. I'm hearing out here because I'm clairvoyant. Oh, you don't know, my baby cried. Okay, it has nothing to do with that. I'm also a mom, I know what babies do. I know how they can be. I'm talking about the original state so that you do that for yourself. When you're going through dark night of the soul, please wrap yourself in quietness. Take a weekend. You don't have to do all these juices and all these fasts and all these whatever. Just simply take, a, take time for yourself. Be quiet. Go in nature if you'd like. Just get rid of like the outside noises so that you don't have to consider what's going outside of you. You're just being with you. Quiet. Quiet like the sea that way down underneath all of that, there's complete silence. And as you do that, you'll find your center. And that dark night of the soul then becomes light. So that's my guidance for you if you're going through this because a lot of us will be going through this this week. Do you know that for me, beautiful swans fly free. You are the beautiful swan that's flying free. I wish you all a blessed day and a blessed week. Enjoy, be well, thank you.